Welcome. So here we go. What I have in this case is theta equals 125 degrees. And what I want to do is determine a positive and a negative, I'm sorry, the smallest positive and negative coterminal angles. So coterminal angles are angles that are going to have the exact same um, initial and terminal side. So if we go ahead and sketch this angle, and we like that it's in degrees, um, because when looking at degrees, here's always going to be my initial side when I'm talking about standard form. So I need to rotate an array from this initial side with my vertex here 125 degrees. Well, we know if we rotate it up to this y-axis, that's going to be 90 degrees. And if I rotate it all the way around, that's going to be 180 degrees. So 125 is going to look something like this. right? So that's my angle. And what I want to do is determine two more angles that are going to have the exact same initial and terminal side. Well, I want to find the smallest positive. So the only way I can go from here to here and um, from start to here to here, but another way I can do it is I can just add what we call a revolution. I can just go around the circle one more. So I look at this distance and I say, all right, what I pretty much did is I went the, all the way around the circle. I started at the same point and I ended at the same point. So really, I went from here to here and then I rounded out again. So the distance that I extended was 360 degrees, right? Because if this is 180, that's 270 degrees. This would be 360 degrees. So I did an extra revolution. So to find the smallest coterminal angle, I just take 125 degrees plus 360 degrees, right? And because you can keep on adding, right? If I keep on adding revolutions, well, that's just making my angle bigger and bigger and bigger. They're both coterminal. Um, however, we want to just find the smallest positive and small and smallest negative. So therefore, when I add these up, I get 485 degrees. Now I need to determine the smallest coterminal angle. Mr. Padgett, please give Ms. Lucas a call at 10.13. Mr. Padgett, please give me a call at 10.13. Thank you. So now I have this angle, but we notice that that's in the positive direction, right? Counterclockwise is going to be positive. So now I want to say, well, well, then what would be this angle going back in the negative direction, right? So to determine that, what I have is um, I have this angle, but now I'm going to be subtracting this whole distance. So to find that angle, I'm just going to now, instead of adding 360 degrees, I'm now going to subtract 360 degrees. All right, And now by subtracting 360 degrees, my final answer is now going to be 235 degrees. Okay, So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the smallest positive and negative coterminal angles. Thanks very much.